Eight minutes to seven, and this is a rural report. You're with Belinda King and Margot Kelly. Well, it looks like the sun is starting to pop above the horizon, and no doubt the AgFest site is already pumping with energy. And all those showing livestock are hoping that the hordes of visitors mix well with their herd. As Sally Dacus found out when she dropped in on Jim Lyle, it all comes down to preparation, of course. Yeah, we're um, part of the Dorper Sheep Society. We've got uh, several sheep to show people, like a, a ewe with a couple of lambs and, uh, and a ram and a ram lamb sort of thing, so people can actually see the, the animal. We're in the process at the moment of hanging up promotional material so people can have something to read about the breed. It's like the uh, manger in a stable in here, isn't it? It's really it's l- there's comfy. lots of straw yeah. and pens, and you've got no. some <laughs> and you've got some animals here that look, I have to say, beautifully groomed. They are, yeah. These are show animals. These particular animals, so they've been certainly been looked after, and they, they look a picture. So, uh, and they belong to Janet here, Janet Ainscow. Yeah. Janet, how do you prepare sheep for three days of something like Agfest? Well, I actually started a couple of weeks ago because with the ewes and lambs, I wanted them quite because people always wanted to touch them. And so I isolated them and I've been hand feeding them. So they've learned to come up to feed and I've been able to handle them for the last two weeks. So they're used to being touched. And then yesterday, well, I did what you don't usually do with sheep, but you can do with daubers. I washed and blow dried them. (laughs) (laughs) That's quite a fleece to get it dry. No, actually, because they're a a mixture of hair and wool and they're self-shedding sheep, uh, they're actually quite easy to dry off. Not like a merino that would probably stay wet for six months. <laughs> it doesn't go all shaggy and curly? No. no. It's a very short coat. And as Jenna, as Jenna said, it's a mixture of hair and wool and, uh, and quite short. And how um, is the breed going in Tasmania? Oh, good. There's not a, a, a lot of commercial people involved. We'd certainly like to see more commercial interest, but uh, there's certainly around the place. When you're driving around from when we started, well, my wife and I started 17-odd years ago now, I mean, people used to come to Agfest then and say, oh, that's a lovely-looking goat. Now now people know what they are, and you're seeing them throughout Tassie, which is really good. And what are they like to shampoo? Are they good temperament? How yeah. did they go? Oh, excellent. Look, they are a very intelligent sheep, and even the rams are really docile. My ram loves to be brushed, and he loves a shampoo. <laughs> he wags his tail like mad when he's getting shampooed. <laughs> their tails wag? Yes, yes. But when you're scratching their back, their tails start wagging, yep. <laughs> Jeanette Ainsgo preparing her daupers ahead of the Agfest gates being open today. You heard from Jim Lyle as well, speaking with Sally Jacobs. If you want to check them out, Belinda, they're on 11th Avenue. I can't imagine a dorper on the end of my bed. <laughs> well, I don't think that's... It, it, it sounds like a pet for her. Oh, well, yeah, sheep are very nice companion animals if you've got a small holding I suppose.